So the fireworks season is around the corner and I'm here showing you guys some black boxes. Hey guys, this is Valmir here at Elite Fireworks. Right now we are in our super center location here in Houston, Texas. I'm here by myself with Bumblebee, uh, Weird Arm Spider-Man, Big Head Captain America and Thanos over there. But anyway, we also have Iron Man over there tied just because he actually uh, long story short, he broke his arm, uh, we repaired it, but anyway, so in this video actually, I am going to show you guys a little bit of our final process here at Elite Fireworks before we send out our stands uh, here all over Houston, so obviously if you're not in the Houston area, you probably don't, or maybe you don't even have fireworks stands, so if I'm showing this, maybe this won't make sense, but since we tried to do a very good uh, balance here of sh basically sh giving information as far as the fireworks industry, uh, rather if you're looking to get into the fireworks industry and some of our tips, you know, as far as running the business side, but as well as we do try to do very good content on the retail side and shooting a bunch of fireworks, sampling items and, you know, showcasing new items here at our Supercenter location. Now in this video though, I'm basically going to focus a lot on these baskets or here in Elite Fireworks we call these black box. So the black box basically is the heart of running one of our fireworks stands. So we have uh, I believe it's 15, yeah, 15 locations but we have 19 stands. So we have some with multiple stands. Now some of the stuff my brothers have already put them inside. Uh, the stands but as you can see right here we have number 11 12 number four so basically what i mean by this when i say this is the heart of running our fireworks stand anything and everything that you need to run the stand as far as our managers go it's in the black box so from hand sanitizer to battery backup because of course with our stands it's going to be temporary locations which mean most of the time we have a generator running the stands we have the exception of some where we connected to the outlets of the rental place however though most of them we have a generator and sometimes with generator if you have issues or something you want to make sure you have a battery backup but anyway we also did add these new things now you might look at this let me try actually to open one i'm trying to be my own cameraman and show you guys this it's kind of a little bit difficult but this basically this is a fast uh Fire, it's a fireball basically guys basically if there is a fire or anything like that you I guess you just I mean in general we've tested these out but you grab the ball you throw it and it's supposed to because of the heat to disperse and save from a fire right obviously we do have the fire extinguishers because those are required but this is some additional item that we have for safety precaution in each one of our stands now anything that you need from, for instance, calculators, staplers to staple the gun, uh, to staple the prices, uh, tape, uh, knives are gonna be in here, a tool kit, for instance, if you need a hammer or something, I don't know, for any reasons. As you notice here, we've never opened this one, even though we've, over the season, because you really don't need it. Uh, black tape, but anything like that. So basically, and of course, an open box, open a sign because again it's not like the store uh it's a little bit different although this one is a little damaged now obviously if you're looking this you might be asking Valmir show me the fireworks why are you showing me just a black box here but as I said this video is more tailored to fireworks retailers or if you're looking to get into the fireworks industry because look when you're running one stand and you're all by yourself now I'll go show you guys the stands outside but if you're running one stand, you really don't need a black box because, okay, you get your tape, you get your sh uh, sheets to write down, you know, pen and paper, uh, all of the stuff that I showed, and showed you on there. But when you're trying to create a system, so for instance, with our stand, there's 15 locations right now. And we used to have more locations, but we're actually downsizing in stands just because we are focusing more now on wholesale and less trying to compete directly with you know people that were wholesaling too right because often a lot of our wholesale customers are actually other uh, retailers here around houston texas that's a lot of our i'll say 
maybe about like 65, 70% of our wholesale division is all with uh, Houston-based other fireworks stores or stands with majority of them being stands. So for us, it does not make sense to directly compete with people who buy our products. So that's why we want to focus more on the wholesale side. But as far as our stands, uh, as you can see, just like on the outside right now, put the banners for the season, right? It's all about when it, whenever you're looking to scale, it's all about a system. Same way that you see each one of these containers has this specific banner. So the certified black hat retail banner on this side, all the other ones have it. Now with this one, you notice it doesn't have it because uh, let's just say it was to blame. So it actually fell off of it. So this season, this one will not have it. But the point being, with a black box it allows us to make sure we don't forget everything because the problem is you know when you have there's that many locations and again you know 15 locations is not that much we used to have up to 24 locations and if we wanted to grow this i mean we can this our system has worked and we've seen success with it we can scale it if it is you know 15 25 stands or 100 200 stands the system will be the same but what we have found that what works best for us is creating basically kind of like creating a model and just duplicating it. So if you are in the fireworks industry right now, see what works for you and see what doesn't. Keep the stuff that work. And of course, hey, even with me, it's a YouTube video that I'm sharing stuff that have worked with us. So if there's something that you take out of our videos and it's, it helps you with your business, you know, that's, you know, I'm glad we can help just because I know unfortunately there's not a lot of videos out there when it comes to the fireworks industry in topics like this because most of our industry sadly it's very quiet everyone basically I understand everyone minds their own business and I'm not to say that I want to mind anyone's business but people really don't uh, share as a community you know because at the end of the day uh, even for the retail side of it the more we get exposure to fireworks the better for our industry and the better for everybody you know including our customers because at the end of the day uh let's just say we i mean we are playing with explosives and it is a it is an industry that there's good amount of people that wish didn't uh exist let's just say that but anyway same thing for instance with all of our stands like we have this banner because obviously with our stands uh we don't open them as long as our stores so if it is after hours the windows are closed they want to come to our super center location it has the qr code and they can scan it now these banners actually are old so we're actually upgrading them but the problem is uh all of our banners that are supposed to be here now uh they've gotten delayed thanks to shipping in china uh so like we've had to basically we're using the old banners because we I mean we do have a banner also on top there the ones on the side because basically there's not going to be no more green so next time you see our stands or even our store green is not going to be a complimentary car color here at the Elite Fireworks it's going to be of course our signature orange the black and white as support and then uh, as an accent is going to be with uh, aqua blue so we're very excited for that but anyway guys i don't want to make this video very long thank you so much and we'll see you guys in another video right here on our channel